So, um, I want to thank somebody had posted, um, he put on my video last night about the creative features with TikTok. I'm just not very TikTok savvy. I'm, I'm getting there. Um, I'm getting there. I'm checking them out. So I want to thank him because um, I, I haven't been on TikTok long, so I don't really, I'm trying to understand all the special features people can do with everything. So anyway, this one though, this is what I want to talk about, this all-seeing eye. This is, this is so obvious. This one should be so obvious how it all links together. So um, the science has come out with an article about the pineal gland. Anybody who's awake maybe has come across some of this stuff about the pineal gland. We have a pineal gland. It's in between the right and left hemispheres of our brain. Um, it uh, secretes hormones, melatonin, um, serotonin, the way it all operates. Um, but the science is not. This is the way the science and the New Age movement are going um, to link up to pull people in. And what they're designed to do, this is your Marianne Williamson, I mean your science, but your people that have, uh, you like your uh, Oprah's, Eckhart Tolle's, Deepak Chopra, Marianne Williamson's, this all goes hand in hand with the chakras aligned with the light, um, energy frequencies, raising in consciousness, it's all, it, it pulls you in, it does. This whole consciousness and unconsciousness and raising in consciousness. I fell for this many, many years ago I, because I thought, oh, well, God, this would align with God. No, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. And it'll take you nowhere. Um, so um, I have my own creative process for the moment. So here's my creative process for this one. Okay. This is, uh, you know, this is the all seeing eye. We all know the all seeing eye. <laughs> So that's why this uh, should be obvious, but uh, for other reasons too. So this um, briefly just says, the, the, uh, this came out in the last couple of days, the pineal gland in the human brain possess, possesses structures remarkably similar to those in our eyes. It also has strikingly similar faculties. This gland has cells that act as light receptors as our retina has in a structure comparable to the gel-like substances between the retina and the lenses of our eyes. Something like a lens also exists in the pineal gland. And so scientists are still learning about this. And they go on to say that um, Western science is also coming to grasp, of course, uh, that the pineal body is a kind of, quote, third eye. Yes. This is the gateway to uh, the bottomless pit. <laughs> it's not enlightenment. Uh, for years, scientists have recognized similarities between the pineal body and our eyes um, and the light-sensitive areas. Now, this is a quote. Under the skin in the skull of a lizard lies a light-responsive, quote, third eye, which is the equivalent of the bone-encased hormone-secreting pineal gland in the human brain. Okay, so right there, lizard should be like, hey, that's the, I want to stay away from that. Um, because the, it's too close to the serpent, don't you think? I think so. Uh, the human pineal is denied access to light directly, but like the lizard's third eye, it shows enhanced release of its hormones, melatonin, during the night. The pineal gland is the mind's eye. Okay, yeah, no. Uh, you want to stay away from this. You do. Um, researchers, so, and they also went on to say that a rat's pineal body produces DMT, it was found, something that organic beings produce, but again, not well understood. This is interesting because it is known that the ingestion of DMT can induce psychedelic experiences, characterized as being spiritual, in, uh, spiritually intense, right? And this is, the, this is where these people that go and do like ayahuasca, like if people want to go have an acid trip, then go have an acid trip, but don't do it expecting to be, go on some spiritual path because whatever spiritual path you think it's taking you down, it's going to take you to the bottomless pit. It is. It's, that's what it's designed to do. The science, God is, would never let the science find the discoveries they want. Not, not when it comes to anything to do with Jesus. Because first of all, we already have it in the Bible, right? But it's because the science has mocked God. It's never a good idea to mock God. It just isn't. And the science has done it since their inception because their inception was rooted. It came from those Greek gods, um, which were basically fallen angels. Um, but anyway, 
Uh, so you don't want this, 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 this serpent worshiping. Um, this goes back to Hinduism, Buddhism, chakras, energy centers, uh, rays of light, all of the, it's all the false um, road. Realize that what's going on with this ultimately, I don't think people maybe see this, is these people, what they're doing is it's designed to get you on the road to the bottomless pit. Because what does it say, you know, when when the, when that wickedness knows that it's coming, its days are coming to an end, it tries to get as many people on that, that wide road as possible. Because the gate that they want to go down and take you to, first of all, take you to the UN and then to the bottomless pit. Well, the UN could be the bottomless pit, though, too. Um, but you want to be on the narrow road. That means, it says it in the Bible, which means God was saying there's going to be less people on that road. But don't get hooked into wanting to go with everybody else because they're going down the wrong road. This is going down the wrong road. Um, just a little bit about the third eye. The thir uh, in uh, Indian spiritual traditions, the third eye refers to uh, the chakra between the brows. This is all that uh, whole energy center and aligning and becoming balls of light. And speaking of, that's why I put um, down here the, um, the, the globe. Everybody's seen this picture with the people. Um, around the globe that's supposed to represent unity and we're all one because we're all balls of light and really it looks like the coronavirus doesn't it with all those people's <laughs> that's what it looks like so um the third eye refers to the gate that leads to the inner realms and spaces of higher consciousness i do not know uh, in spirituality, the third eye often symbolizes a state of enlightenment. The third eye is often associated with religious visions, clairvoyance, the ability uh, to observe chakras and auras, precognition, and out-of-body experiences. People who have, uh, who have said to have the capacity to use this third eye are sometimes known as seers. In Hinduism and Buddhism, in Buddhism, again, I'll keep mentioning it, its roots go back to uh, serpent worshiping. Uh, the third eye is said to be located around the middle of the forehead, slightly above the eyebrows. Um, yeah, this goes on to talk about, uh, in Hinduism, uh, expressions of Shiva. That's one of the, the, all their gods, that kind of stuff. So this kind of is why I think in the Old Testament, um, God was telling the Israeli, I don't want you to intermingle with them because you will take on their cultures and you don't want to do that because it's a bunch of different gods and that will upset me. So this would upset God. <laughs> Seriously. Because it goes back to the whole serpent thing. It, it does. And that is what it's designed to do. And the science with the New Age movement, with the UN, all of them, are going to try to get people on the wide road where everybody's going. Because it's like, no, this makes sense. We need to raise in consciousness and raise in, raise in light. And, and, and then we're going to have a perfect world. And I just need to meditate and align with everything. It, it's just, you know, it's just nonsense. It really is. It's really simple. God, Jesus didn't need us to find any third eye. Um, there's nothing in the Bible about that. Jesus is really easy. Jesus doesn't need you to go take ayahuasca or go have an acid trip to find him. You just have to talk to him. That's all. You just have to have a relationship with him. Does anybody think that's so hard to do? It's really not. You think it's hard to do because you think I can't see God. But really, when you go outside, you do. You see the trees, the grass. You see, you see God's creation all around you. But because you don't see that um, God, God in visual sense, you think he's not there, but he is. He's always with you through the Holy Spirit. So you want to talk to him and build that relationship. That's a better high than ayahuasca or any of this DMT or any of that stuff. It's just people have never been told to go down that road because this world wants to tell you to follow Hinduism, follow Buddhism, follow science. And, and those will all lead you to, you know, the one-eyed creature. That's what this is. You may think I'm having some clairvoyant experience in this half. Yeah, no, you don't want to do that. It's it, it, It'll it lead you straight to the bottomless pit. So just stick with Jesus. You can't go wrong as long as you stick with Jesus.